Michelle and welcome back to my channel so I'm back with another video for you guys and this is the look I'm doing for you guys I posted this look on my Instagram a couple days ago and you guys were really 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 feeling it so yeah I really wasn't planning on filming this look but because you guys like it on Instagram obviously I have to film it for you so this is the look and I went with a classic red lip a Ruby Woo by Mac I have not worn this lipstick you guys in years and you guys this used to be one of my favorite lipsticks back in the day when I used to work at Mac I used to wear it all the freaking time if you guys enjoy this video give me a thumbs up if you do comment down below and please let me know what you guys want to see next if you want to see dramatic makeup or more simple whatever whatever you guys want to see that's what I'll film but yeah this is the look I'm doing so uh, let me stop rambling and just jump right into the video because I'm just talking way too much so let's get right into it. I'm going to take the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Skin Booster. This is actually my second time using it so I'm not going to say like I'm in love with it but so far it's pretty good. It just hydrates my skin and add a bit of glow. Now I'm going to move on to the brows. I'm going to take my Benefit um, Ready Set Brow Gel. So I apply this on my brows first before I actually fill them in and I just love this product so much. Now I'm going to go in with my favorite brow pencil. This is the Benefits Precisely My Brow Pencil. And today I'm going to use the shade number 4. I usually use number 5 which is a bit darker but I'm liking the brows not looking super dark. And I want to keep them looking as natural as I possibly can. So I just follow the natural shape of my brows. Now I don't fully fill my brows in because I don't have foundation on as yet. Once I put my foundation on then I fully fill them in. So I'm just following the natural direction of of my brows next you can take any concealer of your choice I'm using a concealer that is a couple shades lighter than my skin tone I'm using the Mac studio finish concealer and I'm just gonna use this to clean up the brows I'm using a concealer brush also and I also use the concealer as a eyeshadow base so I'm just gonna apply this all over my eyelid and this will act as a base Moving on to set and lock that concealer into place, I'm going to take a translucent powder and you can use any translucent powder to do this, it just makes the eyeshadow blend so much easier. You guys, I'm really loving this palette. This is the Dose of Color Baked Bronze Palette. It's pretty simple. It's just neutral browns, but this is like my go-to everyday palette. So I'm going to take this reddish brown shade and I'm just going to pop this into the crease. You guys, this is like the eyeshadow look that I do when I'm like super lazy and I don't want to do much to the eyes, but I just want to pop a little bit of brown into the crease. So I'm just going to do that and I'm using the NYX number 17 brush, which is one of my favorite, favorite brushes blending brush ever going back into the palette I'm gonna take the darkest brown and I'm gonna go ahead and line my top lash line so we're not gonna create a wing liner I just want a really tiny little line right by the lash line and I'm just gonna use a angle brush to do that Moving on to mascara, you can take any of your favorite mascara. I'm not really big on mascaras to be honest with you because I already have small lashes and I'm going to put on false lashes anyways. So I'm just going to apply a coat of mascara to my top lashes. I'm going to apply some falsies to this look and today I'm going to be using the Queen Bee Cocoa Lashes. These are my absolute favorite lashes ever i am obsessed with these lashes you guys and i'm just gonna apply this as close to my natural lash line as possible because we're not doing a liner today so i have to get it really really close once i apply my falsies i like to go back into the eyeshadow palette and i'm just gonna reapply the same eyeshadow that i use in the crease just to make it look a little bit more defined and i'm using a blending brush to do this now the eyes are almost completed. This is a really simple eye look, so we're just gonna move on to the face. And the first thing I'm gonna do is apply an orange concealer just to do some color correcting. Um, I do have a more detailed video on my foundation routine, but I pretty much do this all the time. So this is just gonna help to correct any darkness and imperfection. 
I love mixing my foundation, so I'm going to use the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Foundation in the shade 173 and the NYX Total Control Foundation in the shade Caramel. So I apply the Makeup Forever Foundation first, and then I'm going to go in with a buffing brush. Um, I believe this one is by Sigma. I'll put everything in the description bar down below. And I also apply my NYX uh, Total Control Foundation afterwards. I forgot to show you guys that step, but I have that in my foundation routine video, so you can check it out. It's pretty much the same routine. Moving on to concealer, I'm going to take the Anastasia Beverly Hills Concealer. I love this one. I use it all the time. And I'm just going to use this to highlight. So it is a shade lighter than my skin tone, maybe two shades lighter. And I'm just going to apply it under my eyes, center of my forehead, down my nose, and my chin area. And before I blend it out, I'm going to also apply my, I'm going to do cream contour today. So I'm going to take the Anastasia Beverly Hills Concealer, I mean foundation stick. <laughs> and this one is a couple shades darker than my skin tone I'm gonna apply this on the hollows of my cheek my jawline and along my forehead area because we're gonna do some cream contour and snatch that face <laughs> Concealer, I'm going to use a damp beauty blender sponge. I cannot live without my beauty blender, you guys. Like, I cannot blend out my concealer without my beauty blender. So I'm going to go in with a damp beauty blender sponge, and I'm going to go ahead and blend out that concealer. Now, as for my contour, I like to use a brush and blend it out, and then I go in with my beauty blender sponge. Now my T-zone tends to get a little oily and I'm going to go ahead and set and lock everything into place. So I'm going to use the MAC Studio Fix Powder to do so. And I also apply a bit of that powder under my eyes as well. As you can see, I need to get a new powder because this one is on empty. So now I'm going to take the Tardiest Tarte Palette and I'm going to grab the dark shade, not the darkest shade, and I'm just going to apply this on the hollows of my cheek to set my cream contour as well. I'm using an angled contour brush to apply this. Now I'm going to take the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Micro Finishing Press Powder Eye. Now for under my cheeks, I'm going to use my Ben Nye uh, Luxury Powder in the shade Banana just to clean up my contour and then I'm going to go ahead and dust away the excess powder. Actually, no, I'm not going to dust away the excess powder. I'm going to apply my bronzer first. So I'm going to take the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in Deep Dark. And I'm just going to apply some bronzer to the skin just to warm my skin back up. Okay, so I just added this to my makeup routine recently. This is the Glam Glow Glow Setter Makeup Setting Spray. I really, really, really love this, you guys. I feel like it makes my skin look really nice and glowy, and it actually does a really good job of setting and locking my makeup into place. So I'm actually gonna apply this first before I apply my highlighter. And for that disrespectful glow on my cheeks, today I'm gonna use the MAC um, Oh Darling Highlighter. You guys, this highlighter is bomb. Usually, I would mix like two highlighters on my cheeks, but this one right here is everything. It's giving me life, and this is my new favorite highlighter. It is popping. Moving on to blush, I'm going to take MAC Extra Dimension Blush in Hush Tone, and I'm just going to apply this on the apples of my cheek using the same 134 brush. Now moving on to the brows, this is how I fill in my brows, I always do it after the foundation is completed. You guys, just ignore my brows right now, they look like distant relatives, they're not sisters, they just look kind of crazy because one brow was actually filled in a lot thicker, but um, I actually end up filling them in properly after the whole look was completed when I realized that one brow was jacked up. <laughs> Now moving on to the lips, I'm going to take a red lip pencil. I'm not sure of the name, but I'm going to go ahead and line my lips with this one. And I will put it in the description bar down below. Next, I'm going to take one of my all-time favorite lipstick ever. Like, I haven't worn a lipstick in so long, but I used to wear this so much. This is Max Ruby Woo, and this lipstick is still amazing. It's just gorgeous. And it is a matte red lipstick, and I'm just going to apply this all over the lips, and yeah. And to clean up the lips and make sure they look flawless and perfect, I'm going to go in with some foundation powder. Um, you can use concealer, but I prefer to use powder to do this. So I'm just going to go in with my concealer brush just to clean up the matches.
I almost forgot this last step you guys but I just looked back at the picture that I posted on Instagram and I had white eyeliner in my waterline and I'm gonna use a white coal eyeliner this one is from Annabelle and I'm just gonna line my waterline with this I really love the look of it it makes my eyes appear larger and I'm just gonna apply a tiny amount of mascara onto my bottom lash line and this is the completed look I really really love how this look turned out I hope you guys love it as much as I do please give me a thumbs up if you do and I'll see you guys in another video very very soon i love you guys bye